All right, so we're out here doing uh, more of a in the field kind of video, so no fancy camera, tripod, or uh, microphone. So the quality is probably not going to be so great. This is all just on my phone here. And the reason for that is because I want to do a little wireless test here with uh, the trig board, specifically the ESP32 module. And uh, for that, I found this abandoned parking lot. You can probably guess the store there. <laughs> So uh, basically over here what we've got though is a trig board setup and this is what I call the ultimate home security system. So it consists of all of your low power trig boards which are monitoring your doors, windows, flood sensors, motion detectors, whatever. They wake up from that single digit microamp sleep state and send a message, a UDP packet over to the cellular gateway, which also has a trig board there, which is acting as the access point to this trig board network. When it receives that packet, it passes it along to a particle boron 4G LTE modem that sends it up to the cloud, where it is then sent down to all of your devices via a push notification. So what I want to do out here today, and this is kind of cool because this system is all local, you know, it doesn't require any internet access, no, you know, existing Wi-Fi network. It's all self-contained, and the best part is, is that everything can be battery powered. So all the trig boards obviously are battery powered, but even the gateway is battery backed. So I've got the battery for that. And what I want to do here, because we've got this ESP32 acting as the access point, is I want to see what kind of range I get from this out to the trig boards. And also, I found NAT router code that can run on an ESP32. So basically, these can be Wi-Fi repeaters from the cellular gateway. So if I put one of these in between here, what kind of range can I get? Or even, can they repeat themselves? So that's kind of what I want to see out here. What kind of range from the trig board to the gateway can we get? And uh, we've got a huge parking lot here, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I've got the trig board powered up, the gateway is powered up, and right now I've got the trig board to simply wake every 10 seconds from its deep sleep state and send a message out. So right now I'm at the second pole here over and uh, I'm getting a, a consistent ping every 10 seconds. Everything is good. Uh, if I go to that next pole there, I no longer get the ping. So what I'm gonna do is put the trig board over there at that next light pole, and then I'll put the repeater here and we'll see if that reestablishes the uh, communication. A little bit easier to get around with an e-bike. <laughs> All right, so now I'm at the third pull over. I've got a trig board in hand and I am getting consistent pings from this trig board down to my phone over here, which right there, the next pull over has the repeater. And then after that is the cellular gateway. So that's kind of cool. We're able to get uh, the repeater to work to extend the range. Um, I'm gonna see if I can add now another repeater to this mix and get even further range. Okay, I'm now four light poles down with a trig board and I'm still getting push notifications back from the cellular gateway. So trig board here, repeater, repeater, and then the cellular gateway. So these repeaters definitely do work and that's kind of what I wanted to see is if you could uh, daisy chain them up. Uh, even if they did work with this kind of access point from an ESP32 and everything here looks pretty good and I obviously these are not the same kind of conditions you would have inside of a house and possibly even the light pole itself because it's made of metal is uh, contributing somewhat to this little experiment here and by the way if you're doing uh, wireless experiments in an abandoned parking lot you get a lot of interesting <laughs> people or people interested in you anyway. I've got a van sitting over there watching me. This lady here circled me twice. Uh, a cop actually parked over there and watched me for a while. <laughs> so nobody's talked to me yet though. So anyway, uh, by the way, just full disclosure here. One of the things I noticed is that I wasn't getting a consistent 
uh, response from the trig bore, not every 10 seconds after testing for a while. So what I did here now is at the first cellular gateway light pole, I dropped off the, uh, the gateway and then my bike right there has a repeater and then the second pole has a repeater. So now kind of as I walk around this perimeter here, I'm getting a, uh, a consistent push notification every 10 seconds. So you see how fast the light turned on and off there. That's how quick the push notification was sent out. So this is pretty good so far. I'm actually pretty happy with this. Okay, and just a real quick note on the NAT router. Uh, that's actually not running on a trig board, but instead I use an Adafruit Husa 32 ESP32 board here because it has the USB power input with the battery backup and charging and all that stuff. So it's, it's already there set and uh, works pretty good. So to load the code on it, I actually have this referenced from the trig board documentation under the cellular battery backed system. And all the way at the bottom of this page is the repeaters section. And I've got a link to that Git page where you can pull down the source code if you want, or instead go into the build folder and then just pull down these two bins here. And you can load those in using ESP tools or uh, even use the Espressif Flash download tools. So they actually have those instructions listed out here. And I also made videos showing you how to uh, load code straight from the command line on both Windows and Mac. So, and it kind of looks just like this, you know, so you're going to point to the location on your, your computer for where you have all of those bin files. Oh, and actually they give you the bootloader bin as well. So you've got three bin files, you load those in, and then it will automatically launch itself as an access point. You go to your Wi-Fi settings, connect to it, and then you can configure how you want uh, or which SSID you want it to repeat. So it looks kind of like this. And it was pretty straightforward, gave me no trouble at all. In fact, I don't even think I need to give you a demo of that. So if there's any questions, give me, uh, let me know in the comments below. And hopefully you found this interesting. Thanks.